This video is focused on the compact layout of a page layout uh, and specifically where you can make changes to it. So if we're in an account and we have a primary contact, we float, we actually see a pop-up which is derived from the compact layout. So we're seeing account name and total gifts. If we go to the contact themselves, we're seeing again account name and total gifts. But we're missing a whole lot. There's a lot of extra space here that we could put in this compact layout. So here's a sample of what we're going to build in this uh, in this session. Less around kind of what should be up here than just trying to give you an example of what's there. And we'll also talk through how to build a, a, a complex formula field, which makes the real estate that much more uh, uh, useful. When you when you scroll down, know that uh, you do lose that compact. Uh, when you switch to related, uh, you also lose it, but you do get it, is the good news. So it's a way of being able to carry um, some of the detailed information over to the related side activities. So it'll be interesting to see how best to use that. So how do we change it? We go out to setup, uh, but actually we can go to, uh, to edit this page. Um, editing the object would actually change the fields themselves. So we're going to click on... Uh, on edit page it's going to show us this which again is this is showing the uh, the, the compact layout up here um, along with others and we'll talk about those in future videos but if th this is a really helpful see how it works because they did show the fact that the compact layouts assigned at the object level where uh, things like actions are assigned to the page layout which varies by profile so uh, again Lots more detail that we can talk about. Uh, the learn more, unfortunately, takes you to a, a help screen, which is just generic, uh, not a whole lot of information there that's that's um, that's really beneficial. Um, so if we're looking at assigning compact layouts, actually building them, um, they don't show all them here, so it's kind of best to do do a view all. And what you can then see is the full list. And what I'm highlighting is the is the fact that you are uh, you can have rich text names, uh, rich rich file names, so that you're able to know when you're selecting it what you're really going to get. Um, so our current default, our current use is the the, the default NPSP uh, layout. Um, and so let me just bump you out there and show you what those look like. So this again was name, account name, total gifts, which is what we saw in the first pop-up. Um, and then if we take a look at the system default, these are the fields that uh, anyone can use uh, because this is what's come standard with Salesforce, but it includes uh, uh, contact owner, email, so it gives you a sense of what all you can include. Uh, you can't edit this list, but you can clone it, uh, and you can also make assignments. Um, whereas if we look at this one I built, which uh, if we click edit, um, this provides uh, a, ch a chance to be able to reorder these fields because what's important is uh, the first is the uh, the object kind of name or the, the specific record um, and then uh, the next four fields are what show up in a pop-up and then you pick up two more in the compact layout uh, in, in a full uh, record detail um, and then there's additional fields that potentially could be included if we look out at the uh, information here, it does show us that there is a, uh, here, if we look at this, it says that the first four fields, uh, first six, but you can have up to 10. So this is clearly a, uh, a, a, a process that's still in motion for Salesforce in terms of integration with Lightning. But if we save this, what we're able to do then is to go out to the, uh, uh, the layout assignment, um, and the layout assignment again comes directly within the compact layout. So I'm going to edit my assignment, and again, this just shows the value of having a, a rich um, uh, name for your for your layout, so you know specifically kind of which one you're going after. We're going to go after this one, and I'm going to save it. Um, and then what I can do. So navigating back to my contact record, I have the, the full uh, compact showing here. If I look at the account record and we look at primary contact here, what you're seeing is a pop-up with just the four fields. 
which again you can reorder and change uh, kind of based on what information you'd like to see. Unfortunately, everybody sees the same information because it's related to the object. Um, this shows you the phone uh, formula, just so you have it. Uh, and basically, it's it's um, a, a concatenating using the the and symbols, but it's also then using the left and right formula fields to be able to pull information and get it to format right. So, give that a try. Uh, have fun and uh, good luck with uh, compact layouts.